I've heard a number of you say that we should be testing MRD whenever we're testing the patient, whenever we're doing a marrow or, you know, at frequent times during their therapy. Sure. But, Anthony, let me ask you... So there, there, are, there are some drawbacks and pitfalls of testing MRD because um, when you send the specimen, you need to make sure that it's your first pull and not, and not draw 20 cc's and fill each tube and send part of that for your MRD because then you're going to get a, fal a falsely negative result. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, the so the technique of drawing the marrow is very important um, and also making sure that that tube actually, that first tube that you, that you draw is actually sent for MRD testing and it's not mixed and it's, it's not sent point. for something else. Yep, absolutely. What is your perspective though on the, the time point when, as Aaron said, you want to make a change in therapy? So I think that's dependent on the, I mean, that's dependent on the regimen. So I think uh, from the Alliance protocol, I think MRD was significant at day 28. Uh, for the, if you follow a German protocol, it becomes more significant around week 16. And then uh, discussing with the MD Anderson people, I think for hyperceva, it's, oh, it would be after the third. So it's, uh, so you would already be part two, it's only becomes I think significant after part 2A of treatment. So I think uh, that's why I think when you treat an ALL patient, it's best to pick one single regimen that you get used to knowing how to use it properly, know all the pitfalls of using that regimen, toxicity, uh, uh, delaying treatment, dose modifications, and then you know when to do your MRD, when it's going to be predictive. Uh, rather than switching between multiple regimens where you really become clueless. And the other thing is also to be, uh, to be able to treat an ALL patient, you need to be treating more than one or two patients per year to be able to do it correctly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if we can convey any message today, it should be, you know, ALL patients are rare and the, the, the treatment is very, very important. It's very highly sophisticated now, particularly with all these new agents. And so I, I think all of us would be happy if ALL patients were referred to academic centers, at least for a consultation about how to achieve the best response. It doesn't mean we're going to you know, have to give them all of their therapy, but they should see a, a, an academic uh, hematologist very early on in the process. Absolutely. Yeah, I just want to go back to MRD testing in the relapse setting. So from both the blinitumumab studies and the inotizumab studies, uh, patients who, even, bec even those patients who became MRD negative, a lot of those patients still relapse within three months of becoming MRD negative. So in my mind, I don't know how predictive MRD in the relapse setting is. Right, right. And maybe going to, maybe using next generation sequencing, and going to a deeper level and may become more, and that's where it may be, where it may be very useful to know if you're at a deeper level and that may be more predictive of outcome. Yeah, I think that the achievement of an MRD negative remission below 10 to the minus four does definitely have different impact in the frontline yeah. setting versus the relapse setting. And it's true that any patient who uh, relapses and does achieve an MRD negative remission they will relapse unless they're transplanted. At least currently we're not aware of another therapy that's gonna cure that patient. But it's still prognostic going into the transplant. And uh, achievement of MRD negativity, even at salvage, does predict for better outcome from the allogeneic transplant. So you still wanna get that good response with your salvage therapy. And so the salvage therapy you select is very important, particularly if they're gonna be going to transplant because you might as well not do the transplant if they're in salvage and going in with MRD because the transplant just typically won't work that well. And I do think, the, although it wasn't as relevant, or, or, uh, there were still patients who relapsed, meaning despite being MRD negative at three months, when they compared the MRD negative versus the MRD positive yeah, they patients, did a the MRD positive patients better. clearly did much worse.